Welcome back. In this segment, we are going to kick off things by setting up the programming environment. Uh, so for the first thing, we are going to need the Arduino ID and uh, you can choose the ID that you want for your platform. Uh, there are various platforms like Windows, uh, Mac OS, uh, Linux and so on. So this is the new build 2.2.1 but uh, I would not recommend this for beginners. Uh, you could use the legacy ID that is available here uh, at the bottom uh, once you scroll down. Uh, 1.8.19 is uh, what is more suitable for beginners because that is something uh, that would encounter less issues and until unless you are a master at reading errors uh, I would not recommend you to install the Arduino ID 2.2.1 so let's go ahead down let's download the uh, ID for your platform I'm using the Windows uh, platform so I'm going to switch to Windows 7 and newer I'm going to click on it and then here you don't need to really contribute anything just click on download and then go scroll down and just click download again and you'll be having the ID uh, in getting downloaded in the background once you're done downloading uh, you can actually install the entire setup and then open the Arduino ID. On opening, on opening the Arduino ID, you're going to look at the ID. It might look at uh, the the feel and the difference might be in just in forms of look. My ID is the dark theme. Uh, if any one of you are actually interested in making a dark theme as your default you can let me know in the comment section and I can provide you the git repo that would allow you to do so so let's set it up for the ESP32 so for the first step you'll have to go to click on file and click on preferences over here you need the additional board manager URL because we need to uh, add the board manager so there's a link in the description uh, which allows you to set the environment for the ESP32 I want you to copy this link copy it and then paste it into the additional board manager URLs if there is uh, any other board manager URL that you have pasted before just put a comma and then paste the next link so that um, it can identify that okay this is one link and then that's the other link so what exactly is there on this link if you are actually curious about it I, I can actually show it to you uh, it's basically about what are all the packages who is the maintainer who is the owner uh, various things various boards from which uh, kit repository we can download uh, uh, the, the the files for which uh, board okay so there, there is an there, there is a huge number of uh, the ESP32 versions that are available in the market. So hence, this particular link, this JSON file, has all the information that is needed. So let's click on OK and then move on. Now, what you could do is uh, you could go to Tools, click on Board, Board Manager. And now here you need to search for the ESP32. Then as you can see it's already installed on mine. Uh, do not switch to Arduino ESP32 boards. You need to switch to this one which says by expressive systems and then you can click on update or for you it will be probably be installed. So once you click on install, uh, you'll see a long go. Uh, I think this is uh, approximately around 250. So after doing that, you could go to tools and you could actually wait. It's not installed yet. So let's wait for the installation to complete. So after the installation, you need to go to 
check for your boards again and you will find here ESP32 Arduino listed down here and then uh, you need to select the right uh, board that is that you have purchased so in case if you if you do not know exactly uh, your build is made up of you can actually look at your uh, you can actually look at your uh, ESP32 um, ESP32 dev kit uh, v1 and maybe there would be some other information as well like the board rate mentioned on it and uh, so on so if you can actually see that uh, that on the processor there are some things written there maybe you'll be able to figure it out in case if you do not know what exactly your build is uh, I mean what uh, mo model your ESP, ESP32 is you can actually check from the vendor you purchased it from so for now I am actually going to connect it uh, to the computer so make sure the cable that you have is actually a, a data cable and not any uh, ordinary uh, charging cable so now we are all set and uh, I'm going to upload a bare minimum sketch onto the ESP32 once you're done up once you're done connecting the ESP32 via the USB I want you to go and check the tools uh, click on board and select the right board on ESP32 Arduino uh, in case if you are not able to figure out what is the name of your board I would recommend you to again go and check your vendor um, in case if it's not listed here the one that I am using is called as the do it do it ESP32 dev kit version 1 so I'm going to select that and then there are some other uh, configurations maybe uh, uh, we will talk about them later but for now we just need to check whether our Arduino ID is configured well to upload the code onto the ESP32 so all you got to do is just click on upload here and then uh, wait for the entire compilation of the sketch although it's a bare minimum which means there is absolutely no code uh, into this particular sketch we are going to upload it and check whether the upload is successful so if you see that uh, it is uploading a sketch and it is uh, failing uh, while uploading uh, maybe there is a progress of one or two percent and then it fails then I would recommend you to check my other video wherein I have actually shown uh, how to fix these uploading uh, problems and in case if you are unable to compile sketches and even though it does not detect your board even that is also configured in the same video so as you can see right now it says uh, done uploading leaving hard resetting via RTS pin here the, the the major part is that we have successfully uploaded a bare minimum sketch and the environment for the ESP32 is configured well now for the next part in the next segment I'm going to teach you how to connect the ESP32 to the Wi-Fi where I'll be teaching you each and every part and all all the uh, all the programming facts into the next segment so stay tuned and subscribe to my channel